I'm at the Heiner Run St State Park Park Office at this time. I picked up a little bit of history of the area. Um, I'm just going to show you what the par state park looks like. Uh, there's a way in. All right. Heiner Run State Park was originally developed by the Boys of the Civilian Conservation Corps. S75PA Camp Heiner, although most traces of camp are gone, some remain as reminders of that era, like plantation number 10448, which is the red and white pines planted throughout the park in 1944. The park opened in public in 1958 with the completion of the swimming pool, bathhouse, concession, picnic area. The restrooms, the camping area opened in 1975, many other improvements and maintenance to the park have been accomplished through the federal funded Youth Conservation Corps and the Youth uh, Young Adult Conservation Corps program. And back this way by the office is the way into the camping area. And I think there's a public phone here somewhere that says that. But Hunter Ridge State Park, small gym in the wild. Clear flowing water and expansive forest draw both wildlife and people to Heiner Run State Park. Native brook trout swim the run's upper reaches. Native brook trout swim the upper reaches. Bird songs fill the forest canopy in the spring and summer child crouches along the stream bank watching a green throng at the water's edge surrounded by Pennsylvania's largest state forest, Heiner Run State Park, as a gateway to outdoor adventures and discovery. While you're here, cast for stock brook and brown trout along Heiner Run or fly fish for the native trout in Young Woman's Creek. Cool off in the p uh, park swimming pool from Memorial Day to Labor Day, like hike deep in the, into Sproul State Forest on the Donut Hole Trail system. Watch and listen for park wildlife. With luck, you may even spy a rattlesnake sunning itself on a path of roadway. From April through December, camp at the park's rustic sites or rent a three-bedroom cabin for you for year-round adventures, which the first wildlife, wildflowers unfold in early spring, visit as autumn foliage peaks, and hunt in adjoining state forest lands. Okay, with axe cross cut saw like the Pennsylvania wilds, the forests around Heiner Run were heavily logged during the late 1800s. Through the few traces remained, the William and For Forsman Railroad ran through what are now the picnic area and campground and up both branches of Heiner Run. By the early 1900s, the ancient pines and hemlocks were gone, the railroad ceased operation, and was removed in 1907. Here's some pictures of that, and like many state park, Heiner Run was built on the site of former Civilian Conservation Corps Camp. Camp S-75 served as supply depot for nearby camps. Pennsylvania Wilds, welcome to Pennsylvania Elk Scenic Drive. Get your bearings, welcome to Pennsylvania Wilds, a magnificent rural area larger than Connecticut. It harbors an abundance of wildlife such as elk, bobcats, and bald eagles and some of the nature's most beautiful hardwood forests. Travel the 127 miles Elk Scenic Drive, a spectacular loop between 180 Penfield Exit 111 and Snowshoe Exit 147. Look for 23 marked observation areas along the drive, the best places to see wild elk and many other kinds of wildlife. I'm just going to show you the and 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 uh, 1682, when William Penn arrived to develop his colony, thick forest blanketed roughly 90 percent of Pennsylvania's lands. The lands to east nearest the four nearest to the first settlements were quickly worked into farmland, but the northwestern area of Pennsylvania offers seemingly endless miles of lumber. Today, many historic small towns such as Clearfield, Ridgeway and Lock Haven dot the 15-county lumber heritage region. Many of these unique communities began as large sawmills, vital centers of the logging industry. Uh, you can see that a little bit better now on this one, this Elk. Uh, the 
Pennsylvania wires live the legacy. Imagine a, more than two million acres of deep forest, rugged hills, and fast-flowing streams conserved for your benefit and enjoyment. The largest block of pe public land between New York City and Chicago. This is the Pennsylvania Wilds. Covers 12 counties in north-central Pennsylvania. Awaiting your exploration are more than 1.5 million acres of state forests and game lands, 29 state parks, the 500,000 acres of Allegheny National Forest, Pine Creek Gorge, known as the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon, eight wild areas and 20 four natural areas, the uh, largest wild elk herd in the northeast, thousands of uh, miles of backpacking trails, bi uh, bike paths, and trout fishing streams, the darkest skies in the east at the Cherry Springs State Park, some of the most valuable hardwood forests in the world. I'll leave you to read the rest. And right there I'm going to show you the count, all these counties. The de Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. DCNR. Alright. Alright, I'm going to take a trip through the camping area for you. Got the dumpsters, garbage cans, and the flies, which are bugging me. Uh, uh, danger, they do not drink that water. That's just water you use to put out fires and stuff. Yeah, something like that. Or maybe for, if you need your car overheating. Here's campground host. Just going to take a quick gander through here, get in, into the dark, and show you this up to up to the pool. There's people here camping in their with their campers. That's like uh, it's like thirty-two dollars the first night and nineteen the next, and during the week, and it's a little bit more expensive than during the weekends. This is just a big. Like a figure eight right here. And I'm gonna go up through here. No pets beyond this point. Oh well. Up to the where the restrooms are. You can see where the restrooms are from this point of view. I mean I'm just making a little closer. Showing the picnic area, a little bit more of it. Bring it back a little bit. Bring it on this side. Show you what it looks like on this side. Very beautiful in here. And these are the redwood trees they're talking about. Oops, somebody coming out of the restroom. All right, I'm up by the restroom. There's a walkway up through here, and if, I guess we're handicapped. And here he is for places to go if you are handicapped and women's dressing room women's toilet and shower and a nice looking view up there is a playground my slide's a little high but it's up there Park administration office up here, but the other one's the office. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give you a nice looking view of this. Went down over a little gully. And right there's a changing room. There's a swimming pool, which is free, but you can donate. All right. Northern water snakes, look carefully from April to October, you might Pennsylvania most common water snake, the non-venomous northern water snake, likes to close water water in good hiding places like the rocks and long logs and brushwood piles. Northern water snakes can be seen in a variety of colors, and some adults and patterns can blend in, into the background color, making them appear completely black. Nature's balance northern water snakes are important to the balance of nature because they eat small fish, frogs, toads, crayfish, and Foods for other predators. Mating habits. I'll leave you read. <laughs> Mistake identity. Don't confuse a harmless northern water snake with venomous northern copperhead or eastern cottonmouth. 
Copperheads have ob obvious flattened triangle shaped heads while water snakes have oval heads. Don't worry about eastern cottonmouths, also known as water moccasins, since they don't live in Pennsylvania. The north northern water snakes may also be confused with the non-venomous eastern snakes. Here's the bridge over to the pool from the, uh, I guess the south side. Taking a little small walk over towards the pool and going. I'm not going in the pool, I'm just showing you. I play no swimming when lifeguard's not on duty. And the pool's blue. Yeah, the donation box if you want to keep the go keep the area going. The swimming going. Here's a small waiting pool for the kids to swim in. I'm now leaving the pool on the north end, over here, and it tells you a few things. Children under the age of 10 must be supervised by someone on 14 or age over. And some history over here. Some more about the elk. A little over there, uh, uh, some horseshoe pit, some places, uh, some the picnic, the car lot where you park. All right, a uh, little bit of rocks, and on, 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 up on the upper end, you have volleyball net, you have some pavilions. You have this crazy looking rock, it's one of the film, I don't know. You have holes on it, people probably climb it. And up there's another restroom. It looks like there's a pavilion that came down, or maybe where it's located, it looks like a, might have been a gate or something coming in over there. This is from the parking lot. More picnic tables. Uh, some trees are down, coming up to the way out and way in from the picnic area. Park map. Long Fork Loop linking past and present. Uh, you hiked the four mile Log Fork Loop, some of which is part of the Donut Hole Trail, which for signs of the forest management log road hollow, follows an old log slide that settlers used to harvest virgin forest. Later, you'll, pa you'll pass a timber sale site and a gas well pad. The wild tra the wide trail section descends, setting to Heiner Run. Road once served as a fire break, stopping blazes for spreading. I'll do that loop later. Right now, I'm I'm just getting a history for Heiner Run. GCCS 75 PA Twin Valley Camp. In 1929, the stock market crash, launching the Great Depression, elect, elected 1932 President Franklin D. Roosevelt acted quickly, creating the Civilian Conservation Corps to give young men jobs dur during desperate times. Hungry CCC boys in camps like the local S75 or Twin Valley Camp, which was located here. Received three meals a day, an army issued uniform. They earned 13 months and most of what, which went home to the families. All right, I read that already over the other side, but I didn't read this area. On May 6, 1933, the first local CCC boys arrived to build permanent quarters for the CC camp. S-75 before winter set in. By late summer, they had construction five barracks. The U.S. Army ran the camp, but local foresters directed the work. The CCC boys, many from small towns across Pennsylvania, also fought wildfires and planted trees. The CCC boys cleared old logging paths and built fire breaks to battle widespread fires caused by clearing of the area's virgin forest. The Long Fork Loop follows the fire break shown here. 
Local brickyard used the clay from the surrounding forest to make the bricks that the CCC boys used to construct the dynamite, dynamite storage shed, North Bend. The dynamite storage shed still stands along the Long Fork Loop. The far, far away location between two ridges kept the CCC camp safe. All right, well, this is all I can do. I mean, I hope you don't mind. Have a good day.